Ladies and gentlemen, this is Red Gaming Today.com video. Intel are investing 1.5 billion US dollars in the Chinese mobile semiconductor companies. Intel still haven't really found a way to break into the smartphone slash system on chip market in any meaningful way, really. ARM based stock manufacturers are doing pretty damn well, and this is thanks primarily to a broad range of integrated solutions that they're currently offering. Intel have tried multiple times to break into the mobile market and it just hasn't really worked out for them. So to address this, what they're going to be doing is investing 1.5 billion into two Chinese mobile chip and manufacturers. The idea behind this is to put the company in the limelight when it comes to mobile SOC development. So it's a lot of money, but Intel are going to be purchasing a 20% stake in these two mobile chip uh, manufacturers. The, the two being Spread Trim Communications and RDA Microelectronics. Quite some names, if I do say so myself. And Reuters are reporting that this stake will be made through the Singhao Unigroup, which is a private equity for, uh, firm that's not only affiliated with the Chinese government, but it also owns these two chip companies. So Spreadtrum are actually responsible, one of several manufacturers, of the specialized smartphone platforms, for example, Firefox OS. But Intel, as one would expect, isn't just going to have a passive investment in these companies. In other words, they're not just going to say, well, I'm sure you're okay, have our money, and you rock. Instead, they are planning to spur the development of its own mobile chips. In other words, Spreadtrum and Intel will be jointly creating a range of Intel-based chips for the mobile, and rumor has it that these devices could be arriving by mid-2015. Apparently, these socks will be sold under a joint brand of Intel and Spreadtrum. Previously, early this year, Intel had a licensing deal with the Chinese semiconductor company known as Rockchip. The idea behind that was to help accelerate its atom processor designs. So what you can clearly see here is a massive difference in their strategy. What they're doing rather than saying, hey, you know what, let's just do this all internally. They're now trying to effectively outsource and buy in the expertise, which is in my opinion, a better way to go because they've not really managed to do what they want to do. That's not to say that x86-64 is dying or is in trouble, but it's also fairly foolish to avoid or to not have a slice of the SOC market if you can uh, so avoid it. It's worth remembering that the Singhao Unigroup deal is still awaiting government approval, but the Chinese from what we can understand, are fairly keen to expand its semiconductor industry anyway, and so approval is expected some point in early 2015. So in other words, Intel are pretty optimistic about it. From the point of view of uh, China itself, they would be pretty happy about this because it would help them make become a global player in the global processing market. In other words, it would really help solidify them in the tech industry, which is obviously a very good thing from the point of view of China. I have to say that this makes sense. I mean, there was an actual analyst discussing this a while back, and I completely and utterly agreed with him. I just It just didn't make sense, really, for them not to. And when you consider that China is one of the largest consumers of devices such as smartphones and low-power devices right now, and they're leading the way in terms of computing. In fact, even Valve Software said, well, you know what, though typically they don't use, say, Windows, they've actually got a lot of processing power in China. I mean, it's not like their systems are coming from, like, the 1940s or something. They're actually quite modern. They've got a lot of GPU and CPU power, and so they're very technologically advanced, so it makes sense for Intel to start grabbing a slice of this. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care, and bye for now.